Ryan Dunn tries to make the backdoor pass to McNeely, and it's poked away. Beekman drive and dish. Andrew Rohde out to Groves. Here's McNeely with a clean look. Nothing but net. He will knock those down pretty much every time. He is now 5 of 9 on the young season from beyond the arc. Trying to split the double team. Kugel turns it over. He can handle the job. Yeah, we can also mention the fact that they don't have one of their point guards with them. Beekman for three. And that is an encouraging sign for Reese Beekman, his first made three-point field goal. That matchup was not supposed to be San Francisco, Virginia. It was supposed to be Florida, Virginia. But somebody on the Gators roster came up with COVID. You remember those days as Dunn finishes inside for the Hoos. Now Todd Golden has his type of players on the roster this year, and it's worked out very well for him to start the season. Beekman lost it on the way up. Good defense by Alex Condon. Ball came loose to Rohde, who nails the three. One of the newcomers for the University of Virginia off the loose ball. Reese Beekman finding Rohde in the corner, knocks down the three, but probably even more impressive. Denzel Aberdeen, a sophomore from Orlando, is into the game for the Gators. Back up point guard. Nice find. Buchanan off the dump down from Dunn. It's a 7 0 Virginia run. And the cannons. As soon as he got in the game, it was energy on both ends. Mm -hmm. I love the. Harris lost his footing, keeps the dribble, finds Buchanan, who throws it down. The court, the nice find to Blake Buchanan, who is getting off to a great start here and only his. We get our first look at number 35 in blue, Leon Bond the third, who had quite a collegiate debut on Monday. Buchanan misfires, there's Bond tipping it up and in. Right on cue, Leon Bond continuing to do what he did on Monday. Ball at the point with Beekman playing on the wing. Here's Beekman, step back from the foul line. I love that possession from Reese Beekman. Will Richard with his first three. And there's another ACC-SEC game tonight. As we've got another layup inside, Beekman able to get into the paint. That's a game I would probably want to actually go watch in person. I mean, of course, I'll definitely tune in if I can't get there. But. On the underneath out of bounds play, you see Rody coming off and taking away, and that's just pretty. Harris creates separation and rattles it home. And the second time we've seen Dante Harris attack the paint and then in the first half of this game scoring points in the paint. But the game changed when Dante Harris. Just over a minute to go in the half. UVA on top by three. There Here's is. a steal. Get up, Dunn Ryan. On the breakaway. Hey! That's Ryan Dunn. Huge steal. And again, he was always athletic. But he couldn't do this when he was 6'1". He's doing it now. He left Oak Hill after that. He graduated from Long Island Lutheran, correct? I don't believe so. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you this. He leads all scores tonight with 10. Florida with the basketball to begin the second half here at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte. And so he cut the hair, getting away from that look. Speaking of looks, beautiful look from Reese Beekman to Blake Buchanan, who finishes off with his third field goal. And then Beekman with the deflection. Dunn's got the basketball. Buchanan getting the start in the second half and has paid off for Tony Bennett and the Hughes. Reese Beekman with the 42-37, Virginia by five. Buchanan from the foul line. Give him two more. He can do that too. He can shoot the basketball. There's a coming out party here in Charlotte. The Buchanan over the top and then the stepping back. He can knock that down with regularity. Has the ability to shoot the basketball from beyond three. McNeely again not looking for his own shot. Instead finds Jake Rose. However, when you knock down two in a row, you got to take the three ball. Jake Rose. <laughs> Well, people tend to forget just what a good basketball player Tony Bennett uh, was, not just the three years in the NBA. Groves with two more in the lane, who all made supreme sacrifices on my behalf and for all Americans. Absolutely, and I see your father-in-law with a lot of decorative medals on his... Beekman, strong to the bucket for two. Lost the dribble, got it back, throws it away. Beekman's got it, and Virginia is going to win this basketball game.